Scopemaster glides on eight linear bearings, allowing it to move smoothly in the X and Y direction. The side lock will restrict movement front to back, while the front lock will restrict movement side to side. Tighten both locks will lock the saw carriage in place. Before changing the blade or performing any maintenance, make sure the motor is off and the machine unplugged. Engage the carriage lock, flip up the light shield, and remove the four retaining knobs on the blade guard. Set the knobs aside and use the tools provided. Put the wrench on the knurled retaining nut and butt it up against the housing. Use the hex key to loosen the blade in a clockwise direction. Remove the knurled nut and the retaining washer. The blade will then come off freely. To replace the blade, make sure the teeth are going in the correct direction and the blade all the way to the back of the machine collar. Replace the retaining washer and tighten the knurled nut. Use the wrench on the knurled nut and the hex key on the shaft to tighten the nut. Place the guard plate and hand tighten the four retaining knobs.